Ah yes, the YouTube trending tab, one of the world's greatest mysteries. And recently, Coffee Break did a video about the trending tab and a lot of big creators loved that video. And I did too. But I think there's something very important that Coffee Break missed in his video that all of us can learn from. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So in this video, even if you're not a YouTube creator, even if you don't care about the YouTube trending tab, make sure you stay tuned because I guarantee there's something that you could take away from this video. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell and follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul, all right? But anyways, Coffee Break just made this video about the YouTube trending tab. And before I get started, like I love me some Coffee Break. I love channels like Coffee Break, Psych IRL, Nerd Writer. Like I love the video essay kind of format. I am a big nerd. I like just looking at things and analyzing things, trying to understand how they work. And so yeah, when Coffee Break like did this and like enlisted other people to help him go through all the data and analyze it, Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love that kind of stuff. But like I said in the intro of this video, I think there's something very important that was missed in his video. And I'm somebody who kind of analyzes like human behavior. Like why do we do the things that we do? Like I'm, I'm big on like psychology and neuroscience and everything like that. And when this video came out, like a lot of bigger creators were talking about it as well. Um, Philip DeFranco talked about it, even PewDiePie talked about it. A while back, um, Shane Dawson did a video with uh, Jordan Lee about the YouTube trending tab. This is one of the mysteries and he wanted to know more about it. Shane Dawson being one of the biggest creators who doesn't get on the trending tab too often, except for like some of his recent videos, he gets frustrated by this as well. But anyways, when looking at this, I had two questions because I, I sit back and I watch. I like to sit back, look, listen, see what's going on. And I had two questions, all right? The first one was, why do people care about the trending tab? The second one was, why is it that only bigger creators complain about the trending tab? And in this video, I'm hoping to kind of break down what I've been researching and hopefully we can answer these questions. So the first question was, do people actually use the trending tab? Like, I know that I sure as hell don't use the trending tab. So I wanted to see if I was one of the only people who don't. Like, the only time I check the trending tab is if I'm trying to research topics. Obviously, I do commentary, so I wanna see, you know, what's going on, what people are talking about, things like that. That's the only time I check it. But I was like, I never look at the trending tab for like, new creators or new videos because it's usually just a bunch of basic stuff that I don't care about. So in an effort to see if I was alone in this, I put up a poll over on Twitter and my community tab, all right? Now, granted, I don't have a huge sample size of an audience who filled out this poll, but as you can see from these numbers, from the people who answered this, a lot of them say no, they do not go to the trending tab to find content or find new creators. Now, the next question I had is, why does it seem like it's only big creators who who care about this or who complain about this? Because as I've watched, as I've sat back and watched, I can't think of a time where I've ever, ever, ever seen a smaller creator complain about the YouTube trending tab, all right? Like, I just haven't. So this, this is concerning to me because like for me, like, as somebody who's just on this platform and like I have, you know, what some may see as a large audience and it's all relative, right? Like I look at people like Coffee Break, obviously PewDiePie, Philip DeFranco, and I see them as way bigger. But the question is, is why are these people complaining about the trending tab? And for me, like my perception of it, like I see it as kind of like millionaires complaining about billionaires. You know what I mean? <laughs> so when I look at this and I ask myself that question, like if I look at a channel like Coffee Break, right? Like the dude's getting views. He's obviously getting views, right? And then if you look at, you know, Philip DeFranco and PewDiePie, of course they're getting views. PewDiePie is the second largest channel on the platform and he is an independent creator. So what we've kind of realized is what the trending tab is actually for. The trending tab is for 
new viewers, for people hopping onto YouTube and don't know what to watch. The YouTube trending tab is one where they put some family friendly content. Here you go, here's some stuff that you can look at, right? So what I would think is when these larger creators are complaining about this, it is probably how we all get upset about the idea of fairness because it seems like more mainstream channels, more mainstream companies, they have privilege, all right? And what I mean by privilege in this context is they have an easier path to new viewers because the average YouTube viewer isn't really looking at the YouTube trending tab. So when I put all this stuff together, what it seems like is that is part of the human condition that all of us are suffering from. And what that is, is that there's never enough. There is never enough because regardless of the subscribers somebody has, regardless of the views somebody has and is getting, they want more. They wanna reach the new audience who is looking at the trending tab. And I think this is something that all of us struggle with, right? We aren't appreciative of what we currently have. We always want more. And this is a major issue. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not exempt from this. This is something that I struggle with, but it's something that I actively work on. It's something where I will whine or complain to my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, or other creators, or you know, even on Twitter sometimes, and people remind me to appreciate the audience that I do have and make videos for them, all right? Obviously, I wanna grow, I wanna get bigger, I am somebody who is driven. I am somebody who's competitive. I always want to just grow and grow and grow, but I still need to dial it back and be grateful for what I do have, the subscribers that I do have, the views that I do have. But again, this is all relative. Like I said, I never see smaller creators complaining about the YouTube trending tab. Like I follow a lot of small creators, not only on YouTube, but over on Twitter as well. And so many of them, like I see people celebrating like these milestones of like a hundred subscribers, a thousand subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, right? Like they are so grateful for these things. And to put it in more perspective for how this affects you and all of us, as well as myself, I'll never forget when this kind of came to light to me. You know, when I was struggling with this, this issue that we all have where nothing's ever enough, I was at a job, right? And it was not long after I got sober. So after I got sober, it was my first job, right? And I was just so grateful. I was so grateful that I got a job. You know what I mean? Even though I didn't have my driver's license, I had to take a bus each way, an hour and a half, right? And I was so grateful and this job paid me jack squat and I went into that job and I worked my butt off, okay? But as months went on of me working my butt off, I start to think, well, they're not, they're not giving me enough recognition for this. Why aren't they giving me enough recognition for all the hard work I do? So then next thing you know, the bosses start noticing me. They start complimenting me. They start thanking me, right? And I start to feel a little bit better, but for only for a little bit, right? Because I'm still working my butt off. Well, now I want to raise, I want a promotion right? So I keep doing my thing. Next thing you know, I get that promotion. I get that raise. And I'm so happy. I get filled up again. But months go by. And next thing you know, I'm like, you know what? They're still not paying me enough money for what I'm doing here. You see what I mean? So this is something that, you know, in Buddhist philosophy, they talk about the hungry ghost. So much of the human condition is never being satisfied with what we have, right? And there's a balance to this from my experience where we have to be grateful for what we do have while still striving to achieve more, right? But if we're perpetually in a state of not being satisfied with what we do have, we are never, ever, ever going to achieve true happiness. So something that I try to do on a regular basis is practice gratitude, all right? And for me, it's a little bit easier because seven years ago, I had no house, I had no friends, I had no family, I had no money. I wasn't even allowed to see my son because of my drug addiction, you know what I mean? So whenever I find myself feeling entitled for, for you know all these things that I don't have and complaining about how other people are more privileged or have it easier, I have to dial it back I have to slap myself in the face a little bit and get grateful for what I do have. So when I see these other YouTubers, these gigantic YouTubers who are getting plenty of views and plenty of subscribers, my message to everybody is, 
just try to practice some gratitude, all right? The YouTube trending tab is not gonna change your life, and once you get on that trending tab, you're still gonna wanna get more. You know what I mean? But anyways, let me know what your thoughts are on this topic down in the comments below. Do you struggle with always wanting more and never being truly satisfied or fulfilled? Does this happen with your work? Does this happen with your relationships? Does this happen with the stuff you own? Does it happen with money? All right, let's have a conversation down in the comments below. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, support what I'm doing here and get access to our monthly Q&A, get your name in the credits and some other perks and benefits, check out the Patreon icon right there. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.